Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is episode 74, DVV, Dynamic Validation and VLOOKUP. Oh, well, hey, all right, Mike, back from Florida. I'm back from Florida. I spent uh, most of Florida sick. I hear that you're not feeling well either. Uh, so uh, we'll see. This is a hard topic uh, when you are uh, battling whatever it is that we have, uh, so good luck. Uh, the, actually, for the folks that have been watching my podcast all week, uh, we've kind of had some some tough topics, so here we go. Let's uh, drill through it. Uh, question, can there be dynamic ranges for a VLOOKUP and data validation list for an invoice? So here we want to have little uh, data validation lookups, but rather than hard coding to this uh, list, as we add more items to the list, we want that to grow. All right, so of course, you can use offset. You can do all kinds of things like that, but now that we're in Excel 2007 or 2010, uh, it is not necessary to do that. We can just create a table from this. The beautiful thing about a table is formulas that point to the table will automatically extend. Uh, so I'm going to do Control T for a table. My table has headers. Yep. Uh, but then I'm going to come up here and change Table One, that name that they give it to something better. I'm going to call it. Uh, how about PT for Product Table? I need to refer to that later. I'm going to remember that table name. All right, so first thing, uh, the VLOOKUP here. Um, so I'm going to come back and edit that VLOOKUP. And now that the table has been created, uh, when I point to the table, comma, two, comma, false. Copy that formula down. All right, check this out. Uh, the name of the table. It's almost like a named range, but it's even better than a named range because as I add new products, product 4 and 25, those automatically become incorporated in the table. See the table formatting grew. So that's a really nice improvement with Excel 2007. I don't have to change these formulas at all. It just continues to work. Now let's take a look at the data validation uh, in here. So I'll do Alt D L. Alt DL is a good old way to do data validation. You see that they've hard coded this to a specific list. Uh, and that's not what we're going to use. I'm going to use the equal indirect. And inside of indirect, I'm going to put the name of that table. The name of the table is uh, PT. And then in square brackets, the name of the column. The column is product. All right, so this is a uh, table nomenclature uh, formula that says that we are going to look for just the PT table and the product field within that table. Now, uh, that needs to be that needs to be in quotes here. So we're going to put uh, quotes around everything inside of the indirect because the indirect, of course, is looking for some text that evaluates. Apply these changes to other cells. All right, so let's try it now that we have changed the validation. I'll add a product five. $66 and come back here. Sure enough, the new items are automatically added to the bottom of the table. Isn't that sweet? All right, so if you're back in Excel 2003, yes, you could use uh, offset and dynamic ranges, but if you're in Excel 2007 or newer and you're not going to be sharing the workbook with someone who has Excel 2003 or earlier, this table nomenclature, Control T, name the table is a great, great way to go. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Yes, I hope you get well soon. It's no fun being sick. I've been sick for almost four weeks now. Now, I gotta love the method you used, the table feature. 2007-10, it's the way to go. Even in 2003, you can use the list feature. It's so cool, in fact, I think I'm gonna do a slight variation here is in the table feature. Now before we convert this to a table, I actually have to add uh, field names up here. So this will be product and this one's price. Let's go take a look at the data validation and what is in the dialog box. Alt DL, you can see the range uh, G6 to G8. That's G6 to G8 right there. I'm going to click OK. And let's look at our VLOOKUP table. G6 to H8. Now, if they built this correctly, when we convert this to a table, those ranges should automatically update. Let's just check it out and see if it works. 
So I'm going to Control T, click OK. So now we have a table. Now we have these dynamic ranges. We can see Table 3, that's the name that by default I'm just going to accept that. Let's click here and Alt DL. Oh, it's still G6 to G8. And here, nothing changed. We don't see that uh, table nomenclature that Mr. Excel used. Now let's just see what happens. I'm going to click right here in Tab to add a new record. Product 4, and then let's say 10 bucks. Let's go over here and look at this drop down. Would you believe it? It absolutely worked. Let's click here and Alt DL. Look at that, G6 to G9. So that range, even though it was not a table when we put it in, recognizes that we created a ta uh, an official table there. So the range is dynamic. But what about X, uh, the lookup table? It doesn't. Why in the world? And I actually don't know the reason. Maybe Mr. Excel does or someone else. Why did the data validation dialog box recognize when we converted a table but not VLOOKUP? Now we could just highlight this range here. And it would do just as Mr. Excel uh, did in his. It would show you the table nom formula nomenclature. Now that's really cool stuff, especially if you're building formulas on other sheets. But I don't want that here. I want to have that range. So I'm going to type it in uh, G6 colon, what, H. Now it's H9. And I'm going to hit the F4 each time. Now, for whatever reason, now that the table is a table and we highlighted it, highlight it, it will work inside of VLOOKUP. But you have to go through that extra step. So I sent it down. Now let's add a new record. I'll do the Mr. Excel method here. Product 5, and then uh, 15, let's say. Well, let's select the drop down. Oh, so it did pick up. And sure enough, the um, H9 moved to H. 10. So there's some for some reason there's a disconnect between these two. Uh, most formulas that I've made that are just cell references do update, but for whatever reason this VLOOKUP doesn't. All right, um, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. So Mike, that's a really really interesting discovery because we have you know Microsoft dealing with the table nomenclature in many different ways, pivot tables. Uh, we'll use the table nomenclature and automatically grow, uh, but charts which will automatically grow do not support the table nomenclature. And I actually uh, talked to someone at Microsoft, uh, one of the Excel project managers, and I said, you know, why why doesn't the series formula uh, respect the table nomenclature or allow it? And he said, you know, at the time that they were creating tables, uh, first of all, we, we figured it would be too small of a population that would want to use the table nomenclature up there. and we were afraid it was going to break too many other things. And think about it, that's when they were uh, rewriting the chart engine for Excel 2007. He says, now at this point, we're focused uh, in other areas, trying to make charts easier for the beginning Excel user. And so, uh, you know, I don't think they'll ever go back and do this. So data validation is one that automatically grows, but does not apparently support the table nomenclature. So again, a similar decision must have been made there. Let's make a great poster on the wall, right? Things that do and things that don't. Uh, support the table nomenclature, but still will continue to work even though it won't. All right, so hey, a, a fascinating uh, foray there into uh, the table nomenclature and, and data validation. I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Excel is Fun and Mr. Excel.